Oh, man, Capricorn, this is not what I wanted to see, but we'll find out more about what this is. It looks like it's something from the past, okay? I mean, we're all kind of heartbroken in the past, so let's see what we can get. We got the Hierophant next, which is about commitment, contracts, doing the right thing. Um, marriage. Interesting. Some of you were looking to take your relationship to the next level and somebody didn't want to do it. And that's why they're in the past is what I'm getting from this. Awesomeness. We got the six of fire recognition. You being appreciated. You having a lot of admirers for those of you that are single. You getting recognition at work. You feeling on top of the world. And it's coming here under the magician, which is awesome. Some of you are manifesting something pretty fantastic. Some of you are feeling pretty fantastic and that's why you are getting a lot of attention. We got the six of earth, which is about receiving money, getting money, um, being somebody being generous with you. It's under the six of water. Something from the past. Some of you might be getting some money from something that you started in the, or that you started in the past something from the past is coming back to give you money and it's going to give you recognition and maybe you were disappointed about it and it could be involving a contract for some of you we got transformation which is endings beginnings and a transformation something changing dramatically in your life and it's coming in under this three of air so whatever you were disappointed in, hurt over, from the past, you're having a rebirth from that. And I feel like something monetarily is going to help you transform or transform some area of your life and give you recognition as well for some of you. We got the aid of water, which is leaving something meaningful behind. I also feel like it's it's like waiting for saying goodbye to something that meant a lot to you or letting go of something that let a, a, uh, meant a lot to you. But for some reason for this card, I'm getting that somebody's waiting for you, even though that's not what this card is. Waiting for you to want to make a commitment. I don't know why I just got that. Somebody that you left behind or left you behind is now waiting for you. They went through a transformation. They've been heartbroken. You might be thinking a lot about it or they're thinking about you and feeling nostalgic is what I'm getting for some of you here. We got the four of air, which is just taking rest to recuperate. This is the rest card, taking a time out, relaxing, chilling under the six of air. We're going to find out more about this, thinking about things. We got the four of fire, which is marriage, happy home, commitment, coming under the six of earth. Some of you are thinking about how you want to be married and you want to have a home and you're ready for this situation here with this four of air. Some of you definitely somebody let me get the rest of this out here before i say anything because each card changes the situation we got the three of earth of collaboration working together under the transformation and next to the four of fire i see somebody wanting to work with you somebody that's that that you or you Wow. Okay, hang on. We got the Queen of Air, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. That you left or they walked away from you. That you were, some of you were in a commitment with this person. And you ended up hurt out of the situation. And it caused a transformation. Okay. Um... Some of you might have air in your chart. I do see 
What do we got? Oh, wow, we got justice. Somebody wants to make something right with you guys or wants to balance the scales. This could be about equal give and take and balancing as well. I do have the hero fan here and the justice card. I do see some of you getting into a commitment with somebody that actually you left or they left you and it could be an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini is what I'm getting from this. It could also be a Scorpio. Now, Somebody from the past, or that you were with, obviously, in the past, um, that you were in a commitment with, wants to make, wants to talk to you with the justice card, I feel like. Somebody that you were in a commitment with that hurt you from the past. The Hierophant and the Justice is like, I'm feeling like some of you were, okay, for some of you, you were in a commitment with this person. Um, and they hurt you and they left. And they're starting to see your value here. And they want to try to work with you on your terms because they did have a happy home with you. This is for some of you or a happy, committed relationship with you. And some of you, there's somebody that wants to commit to you that hurt you or they're hurt. And you guys are no longer, no longer together and they're seeing your value or you're seeing their value and you want a commitment. I see a lot of you wanting to commit to somebody and I also see somebody wanting to commit to you. So if you're not really the one that wants to commit, or maybe it's both of you, or maybe it's both of you, okay? But we got the two of earth, so somebody's deciding or just like trying to figure out what to do. We're going to check these out and see. And then we got patience under that, and I don't know why I just pulled that card. So some of you may be waiting for this, and then we got love under that too, and I don't know why I'm just looking at and taking them. Okay, I'm going to stop there on that. So somebody's trying to make a decision that you've been patient about and it's regarding love. They have a lot of love for you. You have a lot of love for them. I definitely see for those of you that are single and not thinking about anybody from the past, there is a solid commitment or a possibility potential and it looks like it's with an air sign. Those of you that were already in a commitment with an air sign person that you left, there's some sort of transformation that occurred and They've been spending some time in their head. They really think they want to, they, they, they were happy with you. They want to work with you on your terms, whatever the reason was, and make amends with you. Okay. And even move things further to a further commitment. And you may have been struggling with this person. Definitely it was heartache. Okay. And this could be vice versa. You could be feeling like this about this air sign person is what I'm getting here. But we'll take a look and see. Let me get something on this air sign. Can you tell me about this queen of air? For Capricorn. It could be a king of air. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Sun, moon, or rising. We got the three of fire. So they're thinking about a future with you or you're thinking about a future with them. of how to take how to take this to the next level or I don't see a whole lot of what actually happened here except the three of air which is definitely heartache and it was somebody from the past somebody that you were with it doesn't have to be a long ago past and then under that's the world card which is a new cycle the ending of an old cycle beginning of a new All right, let's see. For Capricorn, can you give me more information? Mm. 
There's definitely love and patience. Some of you have been waiting for somebody, okay? I do see this as... All right. Why don't you tell me about the three of air? We got Sylvanius, which is interesting because this is cutting through illusions, delusions, and getting to the truth of a matter. This is a very cutting intellect card. It's kind of like the Ace of Swords. A breakthrough happening on this Three of Air. Realizations. Somebody uncovering, realizing the truth behind a situation. We got the sage, which is somebody that's very mystical, spiritual, okay? But also this is the card of self-awareness. So it looks like somebody here is seeing the truth and becoming self-aware regarding this heartache. Whatever betrayal occurred, somebody is becoming aware of it and seeing the truth of the matter. Oops, sorry about that. All right, we got the long, which is unconditional love, giving of unconditional love. giving and receiving unconditional love on this breakthrough and this person could be it could be this air sign or it could be somebody that's very spiritual highly aware conscious or whatever or maybe this is just somebody breaking through and being self-aware of the unconditional love that they were giving to you or you were, maybe you're becoming aware of their unconditional love they were giving to you. You're having a breakthrough on it. If this is for you, it could be reversed. Or they are having an awareness and a breakthrough of your toleration and love of them. And why they want to come in with a commitment now. Like a real commitment. Or reunite from a past commitment. Like if you were involved in a relationship and you separated and they realized and now they're, they want to make a commitment again. Yep, we got the fairy grandmother, which is helpful lessons learned. She helps you get lessons learned here. And I feel like this person, okay... You or this person has learned some lesson and realized that this person really loved you and you really love them and you want to come back to them because we got the love and patience. Some of you have been waiting for this to happen and it's coming through after the new year and there's been some sort of transformation and they've been thinking about wanting to have this connection with you and I see it with an air sign here for some of you. But it could be their rising or their moon sign. They could be any sign, okay? Because these are general readings. But let me get some on this air sign. Okay, tell me about the queen of air. Wow, we got the dark lady on the queen of air which is also a very mystical person. So we got the sage over there and the dark lady, wow. 
Okay, so this is somebody that can use unconscious power, that is a mystical, that um, is very seductive, sensual, very passionate. It's like Scorpio energy, okay? It's like Scorpio energy, a very sexy, seductive, um, magical person, you know, that has insights into hidden things and, and the subconscious and the power of it on this queen of air. So it could be a Scorpio air combination type person or somebody that's just very, very consciously aware, very mystical into the metaphysical spiritual. And then we got the sage person up here, another spiritual person as well that is realizing about unconditional love, realizing about it, having some helpful lessons, having a breakthrough on, on what seeing things clearly and yeah. And self-realization and it's in here with this hero fat and this justice of wanting to make it right. Wow. All right. So Let me go over here and get a couple on this transformation. I mean, I'm seeing a transformation, of course, happening there. Yeah, Ace of Earth, like wanting to start something solid and brand new through a transformation. I'm seeing this strongly. Some of you that were involved with somebody in a relationship that you broke up or separated, this person is going through a, you know, a realization and wants to have a recommitment with you. Yeah, and you went through a lot with this person. This is the Nine of Fire. It's just like battling it out, being through a lot. Just You just tolerated or went through a lot. Or they did. You've been through a lot together or you just felt like they put you through it or you put them through it. Oh, woes is it? Wowza, wowza. Let's see. Um, we got the Empress, the Fortune's Wheel, and the Queen of Water in reverse. So some of you, it's a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or an Empress type person, an Emperor. There's a change of that going on here. The queen of water is in reverse. This could be somebody that was emotionally manipulative, or if not, this is a water sign person that's hurt or upset from you that wanted to have a long-term commitment or a marriage with you or wants to, and wants things to turn around for the better. They're a very nurturing, loving, emotional person. And for some of you, this is an emotional manipulative person or um, passive aggressive with the queen of water in reverse, but it can mean multiple things. And I feel like specifically this person maybe was hurt or wants to come back to you, wants things to change or wants to make things better with you. Or this is a water sign person that wants things to change because they found you nurturing and they want a marriage or a happy home with you. Oh my gosh. There's a few people here, you guys. So Take which one resonates with you because a lot of you are involved with different people. Not all of you are involved with an air sign. Not all of you are involved with a water sign. Um, but because it could be sun, moon, or rising too, okay? So I just got... Well, that was too many. Let me pull some on this water sign person and the empress. This is a very nurturing person, but... Kind of up the dream weaver. Yeah, see, this person wants to fix the situation. It's like they want... They want... This is like... Um, they want to repair whatever happened, this water sign person, with you. And they're very nurturing and loving and caring. 
but they might be passive aggressive or they may be for some of you, okay? Because it also could reflect that this person is not in communication with you and they're they're hurt or they're just I've seen that happen a lot with the reverse. And then we got the poet. So there is a romantic side to this person or you you feel they're romantic with you as well. Um, they want to, there's somebody that usually keeps out of trouble, doesn't get into a lot of trouble. They're very, um, they can be very romantic and it also could point to the fact that they want, you might be getting a romantic communication from them, a note or a message or something because they really want to repair things with you or Um, this is Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. They thought the world of you, and they might be trying to send you a romantic message or something sweet, or you may want to do this with them because they were very caring and kind and nurturing with the Empress here, and they were hoping for the best with you. Okay? So... <sighs> Yeah, this is, there's a few things going on here, you guys. So, um, there's definitely somebody that wants to recommit to you and make it solid. And there's somebody else who maybe is a newer person or somebody that you're connecting with. It could be multiple things because there's a lot of you, okay? But they were really hoping for the best with Penelope the Dreamweaver and Om um, the Poet about a romantic connection and hoping that things would turn out favorable and they're very um, loving and nurturing. They got it together, but they're upside down, so they're hurt, they're disappointed, or this is somebody that um, negatively was being passive aggressive, emotionally closed off. But I really feel that because it's coming in with this poet and Penelope the Dreamweaver, they were really hoping for the best for with you. And they're probably going to connect or reach out to you again. And it could be a new person or you want to reach out to them. And it might be a surprise. And it also, this is the rude awakening card, okay? So they maybe had a rude awakening, or you did about them. There was a rude awakening regarding this water sign person that's in reverse. That was, looks like they were hoping the best with you and really hoping that things would turn out positively because they were very nurturing or they found you to be. But it looks like there was a rude awakening regarding this person. Okay, but I think they're going to be reaching out to you as well. Or you want to reach out to them. Okay, Capricorn, that's what I got for you guys. I'm sorry if it's a little confusing, but there's, you know, there's quite a few messages here. So take what resonates with you and what doesn't. I do see you guys feeling pretty good, being the center of attention, having a lot of attention. So that's probably what it is. People want you guys. And somebody from the past definitely is having an awakening, understanding themselves, understanding that you love them and that you were, you know, good for them and you were in a commitment with them and they want to make things right with you or you want to make things right with them with the Hierophant and the Justice and recommit. And then there's somebody else here that you had a rude awakening with that was hoping the world for you, they were, you were having high hopes of them or they were having high hopes for you. And I see them actually wanting to reach out to you again. And we have this Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, dark lady combination, Scorpio, sexy, seductive, beautiful woman, very well could be you. Thinking about your future and what direction to go, thinking about you and part of their future, could be connected with this marriage and, and, and wanting to get together or this commitment, recommitting. I definitely see that happening strongly and there's definitely love and a lot of you are waiting for this. So if this is somebody from the past you were waiting for, it's coming through. 
Um, so I hope that you guys found this helpful. I'm sending you positive energy for all the best. 2020 is going to be uh, eventful, definitely. And you guys have.